the best memory, my favourite memory, is when we recorded Suck, Suck In My Love and I'd done two tracks of guitar, a rhythm, I'd done the rhythm guitar with the drums and bass and vocal, because we'd do it all in one take if we could, uh, with Sean probably in a booth, Duncan in a booth, and uh, myself and Colin in, in the, the big room next to, you know, you, we could all see each other. Uh, and I remember going into the control room, overdubbing us, the same track again, another guitar. So you've now got stereo guitars, you pan them left and right, and suddenly I think, wow, that's incredible. Stereo guitars, I'd never really noticed it before. And uh, I remember thinking, that sounds amazing. And uh, the, the worst memory really was uh, when we started trying to record, uh, the engineer guy said, I'll send a click down to your cameras. So we've all got headphones on. Duncan is in the, the booth and, and the click comes, boop, 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 boop. And it was really hard for Duncan to play in time with this click uh, because he's not used to it. He hadn't been practicing to it and we'd never done it before really. So to suddenly be in the studio, red lights on, and you've got to learn how to play with a click track all of a sudden was, was a bit too much. So I think we had a few false starts and in the end we had to abandon the click track and just thought we can't do it. It would, we'd just do everything like we normally do. So there's no click, there's no grid. Uh, you know, nowadays you use the grid on Pro Tools and everything can be in time, moved around, quantized, etc. But then everything would have to be live and if it pulled and pushed and moved around, so be it. 